Not today, Satan. Not today. Hey guys, I'm Casey. Welcome back to my channel. I am from the website Casey. That sounded stupid. Train. Are we even recording? Go ahead, train. Honk that horn. Loud as you can. Just let me hear it. There we go. That's the way I like it. The louder the better during YouTube videos. Come on. It's a choo choo train. Come on. If you feel like dancing, we got the sound to keep moving now, now. Hey guys, it's Casey here from Teaching on Less, and I've tried to record this teacher organization video about 4.3 million times. We're gonna we're gonna roll with it. Train came by, battery went dead, card memory card was full. I kicked one of my lights over. You know, this. Not today, Satan. We've got this. All right, well, as I was getting ready for this video, tripping out because I had to roll this cart over here, I felt like the crazy cart lady at everybody's school because you know you have one. You know you have one. I'm not saying that if you push a cart, you're crazy. I'm just saying that people that push a cart sometimes are crazy. We had a crazy cart lady. Anyways, all right. So the first thing I want to chat about is this amazing organization thing. Anything I chat about here today, I forget what I've already said because I've already tried to shoot this video three times. Anything I chat about here today, it's available in my Amazon linked store. So you can click down below. That is an affiliate link. If you want to buy it through me, then you go girl or boy. If you don't, it's okay. I won't know if you do or not. Not going to hurt my feelings. So let's go ahead and get started. My first and probably... I'm not gonna say my favorite, cause you know it's like favorite songs and favorite kids. You don't have, you don't, you can't do that, okay? So this one here is beloved so much by me. This is made by really useful boxes. Not only are the colors on point, but there are so many different uses for this. It can go on your teacher desk, but for me, I like to use it for center rotation. Now, with centers, you can do centers in so many different ways. You can do them using sight word games. You can do them using math manipulatives. I've just recently finished May sight word games that are completely editable. Hear me out. So what you do is you put any sight word on the planet in there, and it populates into these fun little games. Now, this one's called Flip a Sight Word. So you give the kids a little spatula that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and they go on a scavenger hunt, and once they find them, then they're going to grill them on the grill, and they're going to put them down on their worksheet. But there's so many other useful for you useful purpose there's so many other uses for this let's see all right so i've got like clothes pins in here i have math manipulative somewhere oh, okay oh there you go and then you can see what they are on the front i will say i love being honest with you guys if there was a con to this it's the fact that if you pick this up and you lean forward they're all going to go in your lap which has happened to me more than i would like to admit or if you are pulling them out and you're letting students hold them, I will say the little, they, they have these little things, these little things on the side that keep them together. Not very sturdy. You know, I'm an adult and I feel like I'm going to break them. So if you have kids that get really excited and they just want to pop them, I would be really nervous about, you know, letting them play with them freely. So that's, I'm going to be honest with you guys because that, I think honesty is the best policy. So if you're interested, you can click down below. Let's keep it moving. Keep on rolling. I am using a new mic system. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. If you don't, then let me know. I need to make sure that I can teach my heart out the best way that I can. Speaking of a teacher heart out, did not even mean to do that. This tea right here is from the amazing chicks at the right stuff chicks. I will put a link down for them down below as well. And they have the cutest teacher tees ever. And I own so many different ones. And I also am a presenter for them in a conference that they produce with apples and ABCs, Michelle. And it's called Teach Your Heart Out. I'll put some links down below of all the different places that I get to travel with Teach Your Heart Out. And I hope to see you there from Vegas to Miami to Dallas. And also the new announcement just came out. We are also going to be traveling on a cruise to the Bahamas. I hope to see you guys there. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Like, like, what kind of life am I living? I am so happy. Okay, anyways, moving on, moving on. Next is this box. Now, I've chatted, I've chatted about this a lot, but it's been through a lot of wear and tear. I don't know if you can tell, but this bad boy has been used in my classroom for almost two years. It's created, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know if it's iris or recollections. I, can't, I don't know. I'll put the link down below. But um, these little labels can be found in my TPT store if you're interested. But it's super cute and functional. Of course, it's rainbow colored. So if you're into that, then whoo, my box just fell. If you're into that, awesome. But these, uh-oh, these labels are awesome. I just printed them on Astro Bright's paper. I've got pencils, pens, markers, staples, paper clips, post-its, and scissors. My box down there, the really useful boxes, is falling apart. So, see? Told you guys. Oh. All right. The next.
next thing I want to chat about, I can't really hold up, is this cute little stand by Iris or Recollections. I'm not sure. I've seen them on Instagram, and I had to have one. They had a sale, and I was like, stop it. I'm going to buy one because I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm going to buy it. I'm going to be making labels that you can put on here. It has these cute little handles that I did not use because I want to put labels like I did on this on here. Right now, this is my catch-all. Everything from... I go shopping at the Dollar Tree like once a week. I have a problem. No, I don't. It's the Dollar Tree. I'm only spending like five bucks. Like, I don't have a problem. So I go, like, these are just some other little storage containers. And anything that I find that I really like or can get inspiration from, I encourage you as a teacher, as a teacherpreneur, as a human being, to go to the Dollar Tree and find inspiration. Wander around there. Sometimes you get inspiration from the weirdest places. But, like, this is a little um, lunch container that I found. Um... These went with my April sight word game. So anything that I buy that's extra, I will put it in here. I need, I just need some labels. I need some labels. I'm not even going to lie. All right, moving on to my holy grail. I'm not going to say it's my favorite because it's not, but my holy grail, something my ride or die, if I had to pick, like, this is it, y'all. This is it. And it is the Scotch Laminator. I've talked about going to the laminating machine at a school multiple times on my YouTube channel and it feeling like the Hunger Games. And, um, you know, like who's going to volunteer as tribute. But what you don't have to worry about with this, it costs a little bit of money on the front end. A little bit. I'm talking about like 20 bucks here uh, if you can get them on sale. Sometimes they're $19.99, sometimes they're $29.99. It's worth every cent. I, you know what? Don't go get that coffee tomorrow and save you up and buy you a Scotch laminator. Also, I buy the laminating sheets. Anything that I used in my classroom, I laminated because I wanted to use it year after year. Anything I use in my TPT products, even if I'm just taking pictures of them and giving them to other teachers, I laminate them because they will be useful for so many more years than if you just print them. I will say I am a little bit of a snob. I have to print it on AstroBrite's cardstock paper and then laminate them. I just, I like sturdy materials. Sturdy materials make me happy. So Scotch laminator and then I get the Scotch laminating sheets to go with it decor, anything like that. And you're going to think, I don't want to waste that much time, but you need to. You need to waste that much time because it's not time wasted. It's time well spent. Even the laminators at your school are not as good as this because they come with these little sheets and they're over there, so I'm not going to get up. They come with these little sheets and once you put it in there, it seals it all the way around. And the type of seal that it does is so much stronger and thicker than what you get as in the laminating sheet. Ugh than what you get in a laminating machine at your school. Unless your laminating machine is a boss, but mine's not. Ours at our school was bippity bappity boo. Okay, is bappity, is bappy a real is bad word? I don't know, my husband's always like, don't say that. All right, the next thing I wanna chat about, I did chat about it briefly in my other YouTube video. That was hella long, so if you didn't watch all that, then I don't blame you, but here is another container from Iris. Iris did send these to me, and that was very sweet. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I wanna be honest. I love them. Would I prefer them to be in color? Yes. Do they have them available in color? Yes. Have I bought them and paid my own money with them in, co in color? Yes. So, truth. Truth bomb. You know I like to be truthful with you guys. This has six containers. What I love about this is the ease of use. How you can look through them. I feel like a librarian doing that. How you can look through them so easy. I store different kind of manipulatives. Um, phonics games, beginning sounds. All of these little picture cards have beginning pictures. So here we have a kettle, and the students will have to match the letter K on different game boards. If you're interested, I'll show you. Um, and then these were from sight word games. But anyways, like I said, I just throw stuff in storage because I don't like it to be out on my desk. I have different maracas from my Cinco to sight word games. But anyways... If you are doing differentiated instruction with task cards or if you are doing math centers that are differentiated or reading elements and you want to print them on small pieces of paper, which I encourage you to do as long as your students can see them, this is a great way. If your teacher closet is amazing and you have it going on, then you could stack these. You can label them on the front and you could stack them in your teacher closet and have them for an entire year. A lot of work on the front end, but you'll thank yourself later. All right, the next thing I want to chat about, which I chatted about briefly in my other video. Oh, this container and this container today is 
April. Okay, you only got like three more days, but you know, I'll have another deal for you next month. So this is another iris container that they sent me. Now, let me tell you. So this is a clear 14 and a half by 14 and a half. If you'll look back here, I bought 4,321 of these containers by accident, thanks to my good friend, Angie from Lucky Little Learners. She, like when teachers are on Instagram going, oh my God, Michaels has a sale. Angie does not look like that at all, by the way. She's beautiful and doesn't do this with her hands. But she got on there and she was like, hey guys, Michaels is having a sale. Jump on there and get these containers. And I was like, yes. And I thought I was purchasing 20 of these containers that were my color of my brand. Instead, I bought 20 very, very large containers. But have no fear, I've got, I've got ways to use these. I'm gonna bring them with me to Las Vegas and Miami. And that's how I'm gonna spread the love and give free gifts away. Okay, all right. Let's get back to business, shall we? Um, oh, I have it turned the wrong way in there. But, so Iris sent me this. This comes with a teacher, this is like a teacher bundle of fun for the next few days. You can get 20% off using my teacher code, TeacherOM. I feel like a salesperson right now. Okay, but what I do is store all of my math games and stuff like that in there. It's a great way, they stack super easy. I think you can see them over here. They stack super easy, which is very nice as a teacher. Another organization hack that I learned when I started teaching is take a three-ring binder, and if you're doing centers or groups and you have them in an easy storage place and you want to get there quickly, go ahead and pull the, the binder like this. So if you are checking, let's say, comprehension, or if your students are reading like their dibbles or something like that and you're needing to mark through words and you need a bunch of them, this is a quick way. It's sturdy, and you don't have to keep flipping through different file folders. I enjoy it. Oh, like I was chatting about with the lamination. So on this, this is a game card for one of my math games. And um, it has, I laminated it with that scotch laminator. And that, look how, that's strong. That's, that's strong. Okay. Oh, Velcro dots are super important. They're in my Amazon store too. I freaking love Velcro dots. Let me tell you though, there are two roles. Hold on. I consider myself to be a semi-intelligent person, but... Hey guys, sorry, I'm not sure where we were. I think we were talking about Velcro, but I had some visitors come to the office and so stop and say hello. All right, so Velcro, yeah, here, this is where we were because I was talking about the struggle and I consider myself to be a semi-intelligent person, but I could not figure this out. Velcro, when you purchase it, hold on, comes in these two different rolls like this, these little small Velcro dots, and one side has to stick to the other side can't just pick two dots from the same roll because then it won't stick. You probably already knew that, but I just don't want you to have to go through the same mistakes that I've gone through in life. All right, I also went and got lunch, so I may be drinking on some sweet tea. I don't know why I just said it like that, sweet tea. Drinking on some sweet tea. Okay, all right, so we talked about this iris container. I'm gonna bring those back up un momento, but not right now, okay? The next thing I want to chat about, I chatted about in my last organization video, but I feel like it is so imperative that I talk about it again because it is, it's my life. It's my lifeline and I'm obsessed with Erin Condren. I always have been. I'll drop a link for a discount code down below. Erin Condren changed the game for me. In my new profession, which is teacherpreneur slash blogger slash life coach slash all the things, hashtag all the things. I could not live, I could not live without this when I was a teacher, but I also could not live without it now. There is a teacher planner edition if you are in the classroom still and you wanna check it out and you can do everything from attendance to um, lesson plans and all of that. Of course, I don't need that anymore, but I do need something that keeps me on track. I've talked to you guys about setting goals. I'm gonna start doing some YouTube videos on how I set goals and how I crush them. And I wanna share that with you guys, but one way that I crush them is by using this planner. I wanna show you guys just an example of what a typical week looks like for me. Like I have no idea what this is gonna say, but I just constantly am filling up. Someone calls me, write it down. Someone emails me, hey, can we chat? Write it down. Hey, can you do a podcast? Sure, what day? Wednesday at seven, sure, write it down. Um, I have check marks above certain days so I know what days I post things on social media. And you know, everything has a purpose in here from color organization to just listing the tasks that I need to complete in a day. And I could not live without my Erin Condren planner. I went during a sale and bought the big boy. So this one is 
the leaves are rustling outside. This one is two years worth. And it was important to me because I still have my Erin Condren planner from before. And it's funny, to, I, I'm like, I'll never throw this away. I'll knock on wood, hope nothing ever happens to it. But it's funny to me because I look back at my other planner and see how far I've come. And you know, these are, these are just like a momentum, nope, a memento of my life. They are a piece of every single day that I can look back at and just see in my business how far I've come and how much I should celebrate where I am now. And it's just truly a blessing and I'll get emotional if I can't, if I talk about it. So I, if you're interested though, I'm, I'm interested in sharing with you guys how I plan out my day now that I am a teacherpreneur who, you know, gets to live this life. And I think it's something I want to share with you guys. So Erin Condren, I think it's 10% off. I'll drop down below. Okay. All right. The next thing I want to chat about is also by Iris. And you've seen these a bajillion times via Instagram or, you know, Facebook or anything like that. You can get these at Michael's, a super low discounted rate. I also have them in my Amazon store. Hey, light, I see you flickering on and on at me. Um, so here they are. They're 16 containers. I literally take any idea that I have for Teachers Pay Teachers and stem it from these boxes because they're so beautiful and they're so motivational. I've been known to stare at them for an awkward amount of time just to see if I can come up with a new idea or a new thing that'll get me. Oh, let me show you. I didn't realize this was even in here, but I took, took a photo for Instagram. I know I keep talking about Instagram. If you're interested in catching me on Instagram, it's just teaching on a less. I'll throw the link right here. You can check it out and follow me. But coulda, woulda, shoulda, did. I was in Atlanta. Hold on. Okay, I was in Atlanta uh, celebrating Brooke Brown's uh, STEM, Sangria's and STEM with uh, education company, and it was absolutely amazing. And on my way back home from Atlanta, I stopped at a rest station late at night. I know it sounds super creepy now that I retell the story. And rocks are a big thing in the South. And what people do is they write on them, they put you know motivational words, or they paint them, and then they leave them places. And the theory is that you collect it, and then you take it, and you share it again. Only this one motivated me so much that I carry it with me, that I keep it in my wallet, that I put it on my desk, that I, it's just, it, I don't even, I don't know. It was just at, at the right time. I had left that um, meetup feeling motivated and feeling awesome. And I saw this rock and was like, dang right. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, forget it all, did. That is the motto for 2018. All right, moving right along here. So this video is not four hours long. Here are, I think this is basically all we got, honestly. Yeah. This is all we got. We almost, we almost done. Uh, here's another example of the iris containers that I was chatting about. The clear ones. I bought the ones, like I said, that go with my brand. So I got pink and I got this beautiful mint color. Housed inside there were April Sightwear games. And housed in here are some of my May Sightwear games. I took photos outside with some yesterday, so I don't have them all in here. But I have tons of questions. They see the little containers on my blog. Um, so I blog about all of these fun little sight word games in these containers. So this is Leapfrog Words, and this one is Cinco de Sight Word. And what you, what, everything that goes with the games will fit in these little boxes. Excuse me. These are my, my maracas. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get that beat going. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. So, yeah, but I take all of these, and then everybody says, well, once you have them in the boxes, what do you do with the worksheets? Some chick was like, I am so OCD. It drives me crazy. I see how nice everything looks and nice and neat, and now I can't figure out what to do with these worksheets. So, here's the, the answer. Buy one of these containers. Here's the other color that goes with my brand, and all the worksheets fit in here. So, I put the worksheets in here. You can do them with those little dry erase marker covers, and then I put the games... There's five games, and they all fit in here nice and neat. And that way, it's all together. And I put a label on here that says May, and that way, you can stack them, and you can have the 12 months of the year. I'm going to have summer site work games as well. That's wrapping up our teacher organization trends for 2018. Granted, it is a little early in 2018 to say I won't do another one of these videos, but organization is my jam, and I enjoy talking about it. So, you know, judge. Judge away. If you are interested in me creating some YouTube video, get, just send me a message. Let me know what you want to hear. By the time this YouTube video goes up, my hope is to have a brand new blog post finished and it's 15 things that happen to me once I quit teaching. I am very excited because I don't normally blog written in my voice and about my life. And it was, it's been super fun to write. It's taken me all week, but I have really, really enjoyed it. And I got to talk about my family and I got to talk about so many different adventures that I'm getting to go on. So I want to share it with you guys. 
As always, you can find me on CaseyMorris.com or TeachingOnLess.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'll hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, you will be notified every time I post a new video, which I keep promising is going to be once a week. So I hope to see you guys around. I'll talk with you soon. Bye. Thank you.